Hi, I'm here with Nathan and Claire from Lime Drop. What did you guys think of the collections tonight? It was amazing, yeah, it was really good. Lots of metallic, beautiful to see the first runway of the L'Oreal Melbourne Fashion Festival. Um, there was a definite black and gold kind of motif running through them, yeah, which was good to see. Great. Lots of minis, lots of tight. It's really beautiful. Great. And so what are some of your favourite Australian labels other than Lime Drop at the moment? Oh, okay, that's a big one. Um, <laughs> There's a lot. Romance is born, Gary Bagini, Gail Saronda, and they're all friends of ours, so I've got to kind of give them a bit of a prop. Um, Assassin Bites is doing an amazing job. I was really blown away by them tonight. Um, Life with Birds stuff is amazing. And what do you think are some of the key pieces that people should have for the autumn winter collection this year? I think that traditionally winter is all about dressing really warm, but I think you've got to have your party dress ready to go and maybe wear a, uh, a trench over the top and you can just pull that off and, uh, right. and have have your beautiful party dress ready to go. Yeah? Yeah, uh, a blazer, definitely. Blazer. Yeah. And how about accessories? Are you seeing anything coming through in the collections? Just a lot of accessories. More is more. Yeah. <laughs> more, is more. more is more, I like it. <laughs> Who was your inspiration for the latest collection? Do you have people or places or what inspired your collection that's coming up? Travel, I guess, is, it, it, it has, is a continuing kind of inspiration. Um, and yeah, it's definitely kind of come through this, this season. So there's a lot of clouds, sand dunes, uh, a lot of kind of uh, resort wear. Yeah, lots yeah. of linen. It's quite exotic. And if you could sum up your collection in three words, what would, what would you say, just as a sneak peek for us? Silver lining beauty. Oh, it's so true. I can't, I can't compete.